Hello everybody, welcome back. I just wanted to make a quick PSA kind of on this CPU. This is an Intel Xeon E5 2667V2. It has 8 cores, 16 threads, 25 megabytes of cache, and it also has a single core boost of 4 gigahertz and an all core boost of 3.6 gigahertz. This is an amazing little CPU if you are on an existing X79 platform that you can upgrade to this if you're not already using it. And I upgraded to this from my 1650V2 and man does it blow that 1650V2 out of the water, especially with that cache and a couple more cores. It benches about the same as a Ryzen 1700 in the multi-thread and about a Ryzen 1700X in the single thread performance. And man does it show. I mean, I've been using this as my daily driver CPU for the past past month or so uh, and I picked mine up for 25 bucks again don't build an x79 system around this I don't think x79 is worth building around anymore because your upgrade path is just too gimped this is kind of like the maximum you could go in a gaming machine and doing some light content creation and multitasking on the side but, you know, I was playing Cyberpunk while watching YouTube videos and, you know, Microsoft Flight Simulator and while in a Discord call, and it pretty much handled it. Now, this is a 60 FPS oriented CPU if you're needing high refresh rate gaming, unless you're running really light esports titles, the single core performance is not going to be there. This is, this is aimed at 60 FPS most of the time. If you're if you're needing 144 hertz kind of machine and again you're not playing you know super light esports titles i probably wouldn't recommend this but if you're okay with 60 fps um or even 75 fps if you have a really lower end monitor like something below 1080p this will absolutely deliver that um it'll it'll happily deliver a 60 to 75 hertz refresh rate experience um and so yeah I would pick one of these up if you're in that boat where you're just like, I need a new X79 CPU, and I don't have anything to upgrade to, um, and I don't, I don't want to build a new platform right now. I just need a, I need a fix it kind of upgrade. This is great value for $25 if you already have an X79 platform. If you're building a new system, I just go with Ryzen because you're going to get in similar costs once all said and done on the AM4 platform. Or look at the new Meteor Lake processors. I mean, the i5 is 14 cores now for $300, and the 7600X is only 6 cores for the same money. So I would avoid AM5, especially because you don't have that DDR5 compatibility, unless you're a high-end buyer. If you're buying the 7950X versus the i9 uh, 13900K, that's a different conversation. You could go either way at that point. But for the budget-oriented, if you're looking for a brand new platform, I'd be looking at AM4 or Meteor Lake. Potentially also Alder Lake as well, depending on the prices and whatnot. But uh, yeah, just a quick PSA on that, and I hope you enjoyed it, and have a happy Thanksgiving.